Okay, another exam question on the buffer solutions topic. So there it is there. So if you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so we'll go through the answers then. So part A, how does the carbonic acid hydrogen carbonate mixture act as a buffer? So we've got these two species in solution in the blood. So we've got a weak acid and we've got the salt ion of a weak acid, so the conjugate base of the weak acid. Both of these species together act as a buffer solution because if acid is added, that means you're increasing the H plus concentration, this reservoir of hydrogen carbonate ions can accept the extra H plus ions and send the equilibrium over to the left. Conversely, if hydroxide ions enter the blood, that they're going to react with the H plus ions and lower the concentration of H plus so the reservoir of carbonic acid dissociates more and puts the H plus ions back into the system. And that will maintain the pH at around about that healthy level of, of 7.4. So moving on to the calculation now, obviously the first thing we need to establish is the expression to calculate the H plus concentration of a buffer. I've got a silly way to remember it. If you watch my videos, my teaching videos on this, I call it the Cassidover salt expression. Ka of the weak acid times the acid concentration divided by the salt concentration, acid over salt. So from the information given, we can calculate the H plus concentration from the pH. We can feed in the um, salt to acid concentration. And from that, we can calculate the Ka for healthy blood. So there's that there, I'll just explain it. So healthy blood, H plus concentration is 10 to the minus 7.4. That comes out at that. Then if we rearrange the um, Cassidova salt expression for Ka, it rearranges to H plus concentration, take the salt concentration up there, so times the salt concentration, divided by the acid concentration. Feed the numbers in. So the Ka for the healthy blood is that. So now we know that, we can feed that back into the calculation for the patient's blood. Remember the patient's blood is pH 7.2 and we can get the salt to acid concentration from that. So there's that calculation there, I'll just quickly explain that. So we want the salt to acid concentration. So basically we need to put that up there, that down there, Obviously that comes underneath Ka, so we get that expression there. Put in the Ka we've just calculated, H plus concentration of the patient's blood is 10 to the minus 7.2, and that gives us a ratio of 6.63 to 1. 